Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the week of At Atalanta and Manchester United. I'm going to play both of them. However, there's one thing I wanted to mention. Um, actually, two things I want to mention. First off is that there was a game that I was going to bring you. I recorded it and everything. was going to bring you to it on Wednesday. Unfortunately, something screwed up and my audio was all amiss. So I couldn't bring it to you, unfortunately, but it was the Tottenham game. And the reason I was going to bring it to you is because it was the Carabao Cup final. I didn't even realize that we were in a final just at that point. Uh, once I got to it, I was like, oh shit, I should probably bring you this game. Um, but we won, 4-1. And I'll, I'll play a little for you here, but yeah, the audio sucked, so I couldn't really use it at all. It would just be awful. 4-1 win in the final. Do we get any kind of... Yay! Uh, why'd you sign Lars Bender? Special skills. Well, really? Really? The result was freaking great. 4-1. Liverpool win in the Carabao Cup final. We get no screen of celebration. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. You've won the title Carabao. you won the title Carabao Cup. Um, I get 60 manager points and a trophy. Yay! But with that said, and with that out of the way, we are here against Manchester United and Atalanta this week. Uh, we're just going to get straight into it. I'm going to do my weekly roundups, and then we'll see what happens. So I'm starting to realize something, and I don't know if I'm realizing something, if I'm a little late to the party, or if I'm misconstruing it. Your health all is well. For about two to three weeks, I did nothing. So my calendar was empty. And I'm wondering if that brought me back to full health. So... I'm starting to space things out here and there. I'm not having loads and loads and loads and loads of things that I'm going to be doing every week. Uh, I do, I am still going to be studying the player market and just randomly picking, you know, Denmark and maybe Germany. Uh, and then we'll see how our health is at the end of this. But I, I'm going to guess the more you do in a given week, the more tired you're going to be at the end of the week because obviously you're doing a whole bunch of stuff. Even though studying player market you're probably sitting behind a desk or talking to a scout or something. I don't know. Do sport, obviously, you're going to be tired from that. But I don't know. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of is why that we were in such bad shape. And there's actually one part in this where it told me during the week, you're exhausted. You need to rest. You need to get away and do something. Um, so that's the only thing I can think of. So yet again, I'm setting up my training Basically, to cover these items and what's lowest, uh, I should probably do, well, distant shots or dives. I chose dives. Either way, uh, we're just going to start the week. Investment executed. Yay. More money than I'm not going to spend because, again, this is just going to be a one-season thing. Um, but, yeah, we've got one cup in the bag. 4-1 thrashing of Tottenham. It was fantastic. Uh, we'll see how, it, how Atalanta goes and our Champions Cup continues. So I do have Allison in goal. Uh, Simikas comes in because Robertson's tired and I really want to save some legs for uh, the Manchester United game. Virgil comes in as tip-top shape. He's been out a couple of games just to get him back into that full shape. Ma tips in there. Gomez comes in for Lars Bender, who's also out of shape. Uh, Wijnaldum, Fabinho, and Madison is typical. And Mane, Firmino, and Shakiri comes in for Salah, who is just, I mean, he, he was at like 50. Actually, he was at 30. Then he climbed to 50 when I left him out of the squad for a week. I left him out of the squad again for another week. He went down to like 40-something. And now he's slowly climbing up. I don't know why he's not been in the squad for several games. Not even on the bench for several games. And he's still exhausted beyond all belief. So I'm hoping Manchester United, he's at least at 80%. And as we start this game, already a yellow card for one of them. There is another thing that I forgot to mention in one of the episodes, I believe. Before Lars Bender came in... Actually, Jorginho came in from, well, Chelsea and then Wolves and then to us. Uh, Madison shots. Yes. At home against Atalanta, we're fine. Maybe hopefully getting a win. Um, but, yeah, so Jorginho came in. Fabinho is fantastic. I love him to death. But he had no cover. So I had to bring someone in who could cover him on the days that he's got to be out. So I'm kind of rotating the two back and forth. He is very good. Uh, apparently, he's exceeded his... Uh, am I, is he he's not... Yeah. Can I, can I click on Jorginho? No, I can't click on Jorginho. So, and apparently uh, Van Dyke got a goal in there, so 2-0. But he's been fantastic. He is on the older side according to this game. Not necessarily what I would consider all that old. I want to say he's like 29, isn't he? Well, let's see if I can get to him during halftime. But lobbed. 
<laughs> when all of them. Now we're finally crushing him 3 0. Uh, so he does come in as that cover. Let's see. Now can I click on him? Jorginho, there we go. 29 years old. He was a great talent and has exceeded expectations by far. He's leader player type. So everything so far that I could possibly imagine. He came in for, what is it, 22 million? Yeah, 22 million, so not much. Uh, but he was like at the beginning or just, you know, middle of the transfer period. So, but this game, let's get finished with it, please. Oh, shit. Just as I say that. They're coming up. Passing it into Zapata. Passes through to Muriel. Shoots. Allison. Allison. What are you doing to me? So Simikas with a corner in the 70th minute. Uh, I probably should make a couple more defensive changes. And Firmino. Ouch. That could have been nice. 3-1. to one. Alejandro Gomez. Why is that accent on the O? The natural place to put the accent is on the O, isn't it? God damn it, people. I need to stop talking. So free kick to Shakiri. Obviously, I'm not going to stop. Uh, Firmino, back pass. Fabinho passes up to Matip, shoots, and Galini saves it. Okay, we have 20 or 10 minutes left now. Please, for the love of God, let's just make some changes. Let's kill some time. Van Dyke shoots. Two goals in the game for Van Dyke. Four to two. This is this is his game to come in. I'm very happy he came in. I am absolutely screwing up the formation right now just because I want to get Jorginho in there uh, with Fabinho. I don't know if that's going to work at all. 5-2. I think it's going to work. Five minutes left, and we still got the ball. So Fabinho up to Wijnaldum. Over to, I mean, Wijnaldum or whatever. Simikas. Firmino heads it back to Shakiri. Drop kicks it and misses it. All of that build up for nothing. But it looks like we are coming out a 5-2 winner. So one other cool thing about this before I get into this Manchester uh, United game. So you could see down here, team values, teamwork, motivation, experience, and flair. Andrew Robertson is not a motivated player. Uh, you can't see it here, but on another screen, he had a motivation of like one. Dirt. I think it's on the game screen itself. You can see he has very little motivation. If I throw Simikas in there, motivation goes up, but teamwork and experience goes down. So it's, it is kind of nice. I know FM has the boxes everywhere to show... Um, and then the lines connecting players to say who's playing well with others and um, what positions they work well in. This is a nice, I mean, it's not too bad. It's a nice little way of showing the team values and how they're connecting well with each other and gelling together. Um, but this is the lineup that we have. Allison in goal, Robertson, Van Dyke, Upamakano, and Bender. So Bender, Upamakano, and Robertson are new to this back four, or since the last match at least. Uh, Fabinho, Thiago comes in, Madison up there, Mane, Firmino, and Salah up top. Firmino, eight, yeah. Every now and again, I will throw Divock in there, but he's uh, for him is only five, while Firmino's is eight, so I'm going to leave that in there. And this is a big game. We need motivation. So this match means everything to us, to our fans, only against the biggest rivals. Wouldn't that be one of our biggest rivals? I can't click it. Oh, well. So I don't really play with the whole... Um, I have given them money or a day off if they've won, but I keep forgetting to give them days off in training. So it says, you've broken your promise. And they're pissed. So, uh, But free kick from Van Dyke. He shoots it from there. Misses, unfortunately. Oh, Maguire. Tell it. Alex Tellis is there. Pogba dribbling up the field. Crosses it over to Martial, who's going to... Oh, just gets it wide. Thank God for that. But Van Dyke with a corner. We're coming into halftime pretty quickly. I, I will say, against the bigger teams... Often, you'll get to halftime with very little fanfare, and that's after a halftime that everything kind of kicks off. Uh, but we're getting pretty close to halftime and a lot of shit's going off, so missed, missed uh, opportunity there. But halftime it is. There we go. When you praise players and say you could have done better, um, there's oftentimes it just goes awry. They'll say, oh, well, I didn't think I played that well, or they see things differently. Uh, probably... Seven out of ten times, yes, Fabinho. Uh, seven out of ten times or so, they will basically say, I don't agree with you whatsoever, so I don't care. So Mane, Salah, and Firmino are all not doing very good. Uh, I'm going to take one of them out at least. And Minamino is coming in who, for, I would say, three or four out of five or six games, he came in as Shakiri's backup. And... 1-0 over Manchester United. Not the greatest of games, but I will take a 1-0 win over them any day of the week. 
Uh, but as I was saying, Taku, uh, Minamino. Oh, who would hold on? Uh, but Minamino has come in and scored in every single game, <laughs> or almost every game, or assisted or done something. Fifty-eight points to their oh, uh, to their fifty-four. See, this is the screen that I want to see. I want to see this table screen somewhere in my pre-week, uh, whatever you call that screen, because this is what I want to see: eighteen wins, four draws, eight losses. I don't remember eight losses. And sadly, I can't look at the, the fixture screen to see it. But goal differential of 23, 58 points. Not too bad so far. Wolves, West Ham, and Tottenham are in the drop zone. Uh, but Liverpool, Manchester City, Leeds, and Arsenal are, are in the Champions League spots. But that does it today. See, all that entire screen, I would much rather have that screen somewhere. Just another button somewhere. Uh, but Sefi Noblin had a lucky win today. The team was often under pressure, and the deserved goals value indicates that with normal chance con conversion, the result would have been different. Well, I hate to tell you, but we won because we're a better team. Suck it. My friend Sly will be happy that uh, Denmark is now in my extended network. There you go, Sly, just for you. And your non-football caring ways. Uh, so that's going to do it. So next up is Leicester. I'm not going to show you that, obviously. Um, let me see. What is the last match I'm going to get to? Burnley. Probably that Burnley game. I do have... Ooh, so we are... So Okay, so Champions League. Uh, we didn't... I, I don't know how to see the trophy. I'll try and figure that out. But apparently we're through to the next phase of the Champions League. Stade René, or Ren. I, I am not good with French. They are who we face next. Hopefully we'll get to the next round. So I may have two more episodes for you. One being the final get match of the season and then whatever show, you know, this game shows me with that. Uh, hopefully they'll do like an FM where the kind of the, the whole, this is what's gone on the previous season, all the benefits, all the pluses, you know, team of the season, all that. We'll see what happens. Uh, but the other may be a Champions League final. We will see. So anyway, with that, I'm out. I am Safi FM. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.